for folks that are reporting this, we're asking that you, you hear, this has been a labor of four years. Why are we fighting so hard for this high school? Because while our schools are being closed, housing prices are going up. While schools are being closed, hospitals are closing. Yes. Our grocery stores are, are leaving our community. Yes. This is disinvestment in us. So if we lose Diet High School, that means that working in low-income families don't deserve a quality neighborhood high school in their area. So we recognize that when we win Diet High School, that means that people can win community-driven reform in Uptown, people can win it in Pilsen, people can win it in Little Village, people can win it in Auburn Gresham, that communities, the people who should be engaged in the first place, will actually have an example of what community-driven school improvement looks like. We are committed to this work. We are not playing. This is not about rabble-rousing. We have done way above and beyond and more than the district has in the interest of these students. So now with a list of what, just to share what we want to get out of this before we go talk to the mayor, hopefully, is uh, Miss Irene Robinson, one of our dynamic parent leaders. My name is Irene Robinson. I'm the Director of Community Development Services for the I would like to tell our Mayor Ron Emanuel, we need and we demand a meeting right away with him on the concerns of diet. CPS have been dishonest, have sabotaged our schools, they have forced our children out. It's not a joke. By the closing of these schools, our children is dying more at a rapid pace than ever. Our community is broken. And we are here fighting for our children. All children have a right to an education. I feel like I'm back in 1950. You're taking our history away and you're killing our kids at the same time. Our school represents the history of the people who fought for our education. And we are not taking one step back. We are going to continue to fight our public officials will be held accountable. Every time we lose a child, the blood is on your hands. Yes. You came into our community and you shut us down. But we is going to keep moving until we knock you down. Right. We want a meeting with you, Ron Emanuel. We want it as soon as possible. We do not want to talk to the audience because they're not working with us. They're against us. They is to have a dead, listen ear when it comes to our voice. Right. They look the other way. Right. So we here today to say we won diet, robo, leadership, green technology, put in our high school as a welcome to all our children's school. All our children. They have lost too many, too much. Yes, they have suffered, and we cannot stop. We will fight, and we're not going to give up. All right. Thank you. So as Ms. Irene said, we are seeking a meeting with Mayor Rahm Emanuel ASAP. We will not go away until we get it. He told us uh, about a month ago uh, when he did a press conference in front of Modelson, uh, the same school he destabilized by closing Overton and moving 250 children into that school, which has plunged that the scores at that school. He told us that we would get a meeting. We demand that meeting. And we're gonna, the pressure we've been putting on, 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 on Alderman Will Burns will now be redirected right here. All right? If I, that's one. And two, every child that goes to diet needs to get a phone call from Chicago Public Schools letting them know that they are welcome to stay at diet and they will have teachers in front of them and not have to take music or classes as online classes. We want full investment in those young people that they've neglected. Those are our two primary demands, and now we're getting ready to go talk, uh, hopefully, to Mayor Rahm Emanuel, or at least uh, to Ken Bennett, who I know is his director of community outreach. All right? What do we want? We want that. What do we want? 